It's early evening in a rain-soaked Wolverhampton, and for restaurant inspectors John and Faye, it's the start of another evening shift, keeping a watchful eye on some of the city's 500 eateries. On their roster tonight is a local Indian takeaway due for a routine inspection. It's often quite good to have a look at the menu, just so you sort of familiarise yourself with the types of food they're doing, um, so that allows you to ask perhaps the appropriate questions, and if there's anything slightly unusual, you can sort of question them about that uh, if you need to. After getting togged up, first John always seeks out a basin to wash his hands. We're, we're trying to encourage businesses to sort of follow good hygiene practices, so it's really good if businesses are seeing, you know, we've come in before we do anything, we wash our hands. You know, it's just sort of encouraging them to do the same really. Uh, also it gives you a great opportunity to make sure they've got the necessary hand washing facilities available. Another thing you can do when you go to wash your hands is actually check that the basin has been used, i.e. is it bone dry. Sometimes you walk into a premises, you go to wash your hands, they've been preparing food for a couple of hours and the sink's bone dry. This one was wet. Okay, I think I've just broke your, your hand dry. Slightly embarrassed about his rough treatment of their towel dispenser, John heads outside to inspect the back of the restaurant. We often come out into the sort of the, the behind the scenes bit, if you like, outside the rear door, sort of to check um, the condition of the land surrounding. Um, unfortunately, you just missed a rat run across the uh, run across the ground. Now, obviously, we don't want to see accumulations of waste uh, and, and things that are going to harbour rodents because if you encourage rodents into an area near a food premises, you've got the risk, then the additional risk of them finding their way inside. Not great with the door left open, like I said, I did see a rat. Now with the door left open, they run the risk of the rat running straight into the food premises, which is obviously com a complete no-no. So one thing we will be saying is make sure that the door's kept shut. For John, this inspection hasn't really got off to the best of starts. First impressions aren't, aren't, aren't particularly good. Um, obviously, we'll have to move and you know go inside and look more detail. But just walking through didn't look particularly clean. The structure looked in poor condition. Outside, we've seen a rat. We've seen accumulations of waste. I think we perhaps need to get inside and look a bit more, a bit more closely at what's happening inside. <laughs> In Wolverhampton, restaurant inspectors John and Faye are continuing their inspection of a local takeaway. Within five minutes of arriving, John has already seen a rat at the back of the premises and the general state of the restaurant hasn't impressed. Let's just hope a closer look at the kitchen proves more to his liking. But measuring the temperatures in the fridge and the state of its appearance isn't a good start. There's a slight problem with the temperature control in the fridge. Some of the foods are a, high, a temperature higher than they should be. Uh, it's not helped by the fact that these strips are perished. Uh, as well as being perished, um, as you can see, they're also mouldy and, and really quite dirty in places. So obviously cleaning of this particular piece of equipment isn't up to scratch. Next, Faye's a little concerned about the microwave. Well, it's looking to be quite damaged um, <coughs> and it's like peeling off, so debris and dirt has gone down the back of it. So it could start affecting the way the microwave works. For John, the building itself could also do with a bit of attention. We've got some missing tiles here, obviously expo exposed some uh, bare plaster. I can see where sort of food splat has occurred. So we'd therefore be looking for those tiles or, or a repair job to be done there to make sure that that is easy to clean. Also, when you've got a situation like that, you could have sort of physical contamination getting into people's food lumps of tile, plaster, paint, etc. So there's problems aplenty, but nothing so far that could be deemed as serious. Next up, though, will be the cooking areas. At the Indian Takeaway in Wolverhampton, restaurant inspectors John and Faye are wrapping up their surprise routine inspection. All John's got to do is check out the cooking area. The cleaning in the sort of the areas you can see isn't too bad. It's the more hidden areas, you know, beneath equipment, behind equipment, and the more inaccessible areas, that's where cleaning uh, is particularly bad. The sort of thing we're looking at here has been here longer than a couple of days, probably a couple of weeks, maybe as long as a month, that sort of level. So the restaurant's had its fair share of problems with too much food being left out at room temperature, the overall condition of the building itself, and the need for a really thorough deep clean. But it's the good food handling practices that they've seen in the kitchen that's impressed John and Faye. We often think that the most critical part is the handling practices, although the place perhaps needed a bit of structural improvement and some improved cleaning, the fact that they're handling the food in a safe manner does give us some confidence and we can sort of walk away thinking, yeah, people are safe to eat the food that's produced there. Mm -hmm.